There is so much gold here, I'm finding it on the bedrock. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. We're on one of my gold claims to see what kind of gold we can find. Our plan of attack today is to work these bedrock cracks. I know there's a lot of gold here, and the last time I was here, I found a lot of gold using a gold pan. But today, we're bringing a gold pan and a metal detector. So let's go. It's a little bit steep. We're not too bang. Help! 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 That was close. Yeah. The area I'm standing on is what you would call a low pressure zone. A low pressure zone is when the flow of the river flows down, which will drop gold. And what I see right here, bedrock on the right and bedrock on the left. That means it combines together in the center, creating a crevice. Our best gold is gonna be in these little crevices here. So what I'm gonna do right now is pan all the material in this crevice here, and that will let us know if there's gonna be good gold here or if we have to change spots. Every time we come out, Paul finds a lot more gold than me, especially when he's sniping, because I'm just beginning as a sniper. But crevicing is my thing. I have a chance today to kick his butt, so I'm going to use every trick in the book. So what I'm using here is a half-inch classifier. Makes it easier to, and faster to pan. I fill a full bucket, go sit over there and pan the whole bucket. I have another bucket of water here to rinse all the big rocks, because there's always little flakes and little specks of gold stuck onto them. So I want to use every trick in the book to beat Polly today. I'm not too interested in the top material because that's all super light. You're gonna find maybe a little bit of fine gold in there and a lot of black sand. But what I'm interested in is the heavy material underneath, like hard packed clay, gravel, and obviously some gold. If you wanna make sure all the material is wet and classified down, if you're really lucky, you will find gold nuggets sitting in this classifier. Any heavy material that's in the pan mixed with the gravel will automatically sink to the very bottom of the pan. What I try to do is try to imagine putting the heavy object in the very corner right here. Shake, shake, shake. Release some of the top material off. And once she starts to see heavier gravel, you shake it, get it back to the corner, and repeat. This is where we find out where the gold is. So yeah, we have very fine gold on the top there, about three little specks. Mm -hmm. That's typically what you're gonna find in that sand, and that's not what I'm interested in. It will add up, but I wanna find the nuggets. We're rich. Oh, my hands are wet. I gotta dry them to put on those gloves. Here, let me help you. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Onions again? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> now, where do I pan? First pan always determines how good the day is going to be. Left, right, north, south, earthquake. Okay, first little piece of the day. Nice little speck here, right here. Hiya, hiya, hiya. I'm already at the bottom. It's not looking too great. There's no packed rocks down there, but we never know until we actually clean it out. So what I'm noticing is a lot of this bedrock is old and it's fractured. Gold will sit in between this bedrock. So the more bedrock that's loose that you can put in your pan, the better. Oh, that is juicy stuff. I guarantee there's gonna be a lot of gold in this pan. All right, right here should be a good one. Every time I've accumulated that kind of bedrock in my pan here, it's always been a good pan. You'll find gold, silver, platinum, aluminum, lead, titanium, copper, mercury, and Rob Zombie. Those are all the metals. Do I know what I'm talking about? So second pan has some very small gold in it. Let's move on to Martin while I try to work on a better crevice. Now back to you, Martin. So unfortunately, we couldn't understand what Martin was saying because I was still wearing the portable microphone. But luckily, you could still hear wh whoever I was talking to. I found a rock and it's my rock. I like rocks, they're cool. But whatever Martin is talking about, I'm sure it's something to do with me being a good teacher because he's finding good gold. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <sighs> ha! 
So I went a wee bit deeper and that's where the gold was. We have about six little micro poop specks and one decent little poker. How's this sound? Good. Makeup? <laughs> so that crevice was full about up to here last week so this is the work we've done so far and that's what I love about crevices you never know sometimes you go and think there's gonna go five feet deep and it's just a foot deep and then a little bit further it will dip to six feet and this is where you find the best gold so the gold in this crevice doesn't seem too bad right now I did find a little bit of gold and even a bullet but it's not really what I'm looking for so before I did <clears throat> wow so before I decide if I'm going to work this crack down to the water or find a new spot, I'm going to do a thorough check with this metal detector and see if we can pull out something better. <laughs> so the bedrock here is very shallow. And I have found little pickers of gold with uh, this detector here before, but I haven't been here since the big flood that happened. So hopefully something will turn up. Oh, I'm going to target right here. See if you can hear this. So let's dig that up, put it in the pan and see what it is. To me, that sounds really loud, so it's probably going to be a nail. I have found several nails in this area. How I started to have an interest in gold panning and gold prospecting, three years ago, I was in Barcelona, Spain. And I did watch a few gold shows on TV and always wanted to try that. The first search result was Pioneer Poly. So I moved to Vancouver Island because I knew that's where Poly was and eventually met Polly on one of his claims. I didn't even know it was one of his claims. We started working together and since then I'm doing this every day and this is really amazing. I can't wait to see what's coming next year. All right, so Detecting up on the bench, I found a bullet and then two melted, I think, pieces of lead. If you know what these two things are, let me know in the comments. And I'm pretty sure I just saw a gold nugget flash at me in the pan. So, so I'm gonna pan down a little bit more material just so it's easier to see. It's gotta be gold. It was super, super bright. Oh, you can, oh you got, you can see it sticking out. <laughs> that is amazing. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> that is a beautiful gold nugget it almost looks like a loaf of bread it's even rusty i had to break a bit of bedrock up there to get to it and there we go i've got to be ahead of martin now Woo! that's over two grams like where did you find that just mail detecting <laughs> i'm ahead of him oh my God, i know so i'm ahead of him watch he's gonna pull out like another two ounce nugget or something Wow. You're going to break the spoon. Now you're way ahead. I was doing good for once. No, no, that's good. That's a good sign. I'm going to go wow. stick back to mail detection. <laughs> so if you ever talk to experienced gold miners who know what they're talking about, they always talk about mining up on higher benches. And that's only because the old time gold miners didn't work high benches. And that's also where the river used to be. And clearly it's paying off. So I may have spoke too soon. I spent 30 minutes carefully detecting the area and found nothing. I found a William! Until I went back to Martin. There is so much gold here, I'm finding it on the bedrock. I just came over here to go check up on Martin and saw this loose piece of bedrock. I broke it off and I saw that little shine from where I was sitting. Now Martin's giving me a little stare like he just found something. Nicest piece of the day. Looks like a Mickey Mouse head. It's not a nugget, but it's definitely a nice picker. Uh-oh, doesn't fit. Oh, that's what we want. Here we go. Make sure it's in there. Yeah. <laughs> so right here is where I detected that gold nugget. So chances are there's going to be more gold in this area. Hopefully more nuggets, but for sure, hopefully, maybe just something. Something small, something big, something bigger than a head. I don't know. This bedrock is loose and also very sharp. I should be wearing gloves, but... Boop. The difference between me and uh, other people I bring along is I'm all over the place. <laughs> I work here, I don't finish that one, and I change spots, and I don't finish it, and I change spots, I'm just like... <laughs> but there's a good reason why I should stick to this spot, I think. Ow. Oh. <coughs> Ew. Ew. 
how I eat. So before I get ahead of myself, I'm just gonna do a test what's in this surface shallow bedrock, and then I'll, yeah. <laughs> there are miners out there that just strictly go to this broken bedrock because of how much gold gets stuck in between it. I kind of like to do everything. Loser. I don't expect much in this one. Oh, oh wow. We do have a small chunky bit. That's actually really chunky. It's nice and sharp. That usually suggests that it's close to the source. Let's continue there. Ooh, nice one. We've got some iron stone, that's good. Oh, look at that. A lot of little golds. I can do that all day. I prefer gold nuggets, but hey, I am not complaining. Testing. Well, other than that nugget, I think I got you beat today. Testing. So both Martin and I are calling it a day today. We both did pretty good and it is getting dark. So let's go back to the house, show you the gold, weigh the nugget and see how we did. So that wasn't a bad day looking for gold. I've been thinking, if I were to pan every square inch of that claim, I am sure we would find some big gold nuggets there. So here's my gold take of the day. That nugget definitely makes up for <laughs> the lack of fly poop there, but uh, that's still not bad. Before we weigh this nugget, let's see what Martin found. Well, obviously sitting in that one spot did him well. He has a lot of pokers, pickers, and fly poop. Martin says this piece looks like Mickey Mouse. I say it looks like a chicken. What do you think? All right, for the fine bits. 10 grams. 0 0.06. Now oh, we're making some money. Now all the fine, hard worked materials. Make your guesses now. 10 ounces, 11 ounces. 0 0.32 grams, 3.4 grams. Now for the nugget. 10 ounces. Come on, baby. 2.84 grams. Not a bad loaf of bread. Now for the chicken nugget, or what Martin calls Mickey Mouse. 0 0.08. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. If you're interested to see behind the scenes footage or just anything extra, I have other social media platforms available for your pleasure and even a merchant and even a merchandise store. If you're interested to get a hoodie, t-shirt, or even some stickers for your friends, family, or yourself. If you want to see more from my friend Martin over there, I'll leave a link down below where you can check out his Facebook page. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. I found a lion.